Why hello there everyone, this is Auto Magic Critic here, and today is the day that you have been waiting for. Mark your calendars, because this will be the celebrated day for future generations to come. I will be asking all of your 29 questions, because I am a lazy faggot. Okay, Lucas Fraser asked, 1. Thoughts on the Gallus channel? I think he is more annoying than Mr. Ender, yes, I went there. Wanna know why? His streams are, just as more boring than Mr. Ender's animated atrocities, and he is, just as nippy as him too. The Gallus channel isn't doing any better, when it comes to doing commentaries on Mr. Ender or any other people he doesn't like, which is just two or three hours of him yelling in the microphone like a fucking hyena who has dynamite shoved up its ass in front of hundreds of people watching him. 2. Thoughts on Clay Claymore? I think he needs improvements from his Where's My Ad Revenue video, but I still enjoy his content regardless of what people said, and I can't understand why people might call him out here and there. I'm not denying that. 3. Thoughts on Emmer Prevost? Probably my same opinion in Clay Claymore. 4. Thoughts on My Little Pony and Brunies? I don't like the show anymore, and some of the Brunies can be really, really dumb. I am not personally attacking the entire Brunny fandom, I personally just think you don't really need to rub it in my face. 5. Thoughts on Mr. Ender? Regardless of the commentary community saying that Mr. Ender is a dead topic, I really just don't like his videos. His videos can be really boring and annoying at times, and he sometimes gets things wrong, but he is just not as bad as the Gallus channel though. 6. Thoughts on Renny and Stinky? I really like the program, and I go on Cuscartoons Point Me or on YouTube, and I watch it. It's such a shame that one episode named Man's Best Friend could end the show as a whole, despite the fact that Renny and Stinky is practically known for violence and crazy shit, and it doesn't change here. 7. Potatoes. French fries and wheat. 8. Thoughts in Rocco's Modern Life. Basically, it's just Renny and Stinky, except less controversial. I personally enjoy the show as well. Did I summon the Rafflecopter? 9. Thoughts on Spongebob. It is probably one of my favorite cartoons of all time, and I enjoy the episodes, and yes, I enjoy the newer episodes of Spongebob as well, no matter how much pre-moving words say. 10. What is a question? It's life, son, it's life. 11. Thoughts on Bye Bye Rules. I personally enjoy his content, Nuff said. 12. Thoughts on Breadwinners. Okay, Breadwinners is pretty weak, but it is not as bad as of what cartoon words and Enderbots want you to believe. 13. Favorite and least favorite Yolliver and why? Cute Fuzzy Weasel, Chad Tronic, and the YouTube Dude 101, because they all inspired me to make my commentaries, but there are more Yollivers I should mention that I considered to be my favorite. As for my least favorite, well, it has to be Nero's Quaker, or Nero's Q for short. God fucking damn it, me doing a commentary in him was a fucking chore for me to do. He is more concerned about his editing rather than his idiotic points, his audio balancing is shit, he was barely criticizing Rebel Taxi, like he is supposed to do judging by his stolen title from another show, but instead, he was rather shutting his retarded opinions down Penn's throat saying how much quote unquote amazing the new power of girls is, rather than actually listening to Penn's reasons to back up his thoughts in the reboot, unlike Nero's Q, that he would actually force his opinions without backup, unlike Rebel Taxi. And to think Nero is some fucking gangsty edgelord for liking the reboot, which is more cute as he soft than the original. I would love to see him on the pizza podcast so I can see Penny and Nero's argue like a bunch of children, and to be honest with you, Pan would win. There is a YouTuber worse than him, but I wouldn't even bother mentioning it. 14. Favorite and least favorite critic and why? Rebel Taxi and the AVGN, Nuff said. As for my least favorite, has to be Nero's Q once again, and I already explained why I don't like him. 15. How do you ask a question? How about I tell you when you're older, son? 16. What are your thoughts on Willie Pete? Probably heard of him, but I don't have my full initial thoughts on him. 17. Thoughts on where's the fair use? It's hard to explain, but I have to say it's probably dead at this point, and I don't think it is doing any better. 18. Thoughts on Josh Scorcher? He's probably influenced by Mr. Ender, but I don't have my full initial thoughts on him. 19. Am I really here? Or just a fantasy? No, you are just a godfather from the dawn of time. 20,000. Thoughts on Dr. Wolf 001? I've heard of him, but I don't have my full initial thoughts on him. 30,483,847. Thoughts on internet voice actors? They can be really talented at best, but some of them might use fucking voice changer or something, but I have some respect for the cheaters, at least they are good at voice changer. 23,456,681, thoughts on John Quick, Lucy and Bob Camp? They are really talented, and I respect them for what they do. 947,489, thoughts on Animated James? He's okay. 435,272, have you ever fallen to your death? I did multiple times, and never had a near-death experience. New York Eagle asked, thoughts on the current state of YouTube? It's fucked. Marshall Ancho asked, which people that you commentated in do you hate the most? Most certainly, Nero's Q. But if it is the April and Wayne show, it would be worse than Nero's. Ryan Go Productions asked, is there going to be a meme called Tom Udeba? I will allow it to become a meme, if it won't become a search logic for the Matthew Davis fags and the IGUA good user fags. Rabrulas96 asked, what video games are you into? Probably into .io games and casual and platformer games, don't forget first person shooters. Neon Sinister asked, 1, which is worse? EGCP or IGUA? Probably I pick, both of them. 2. Thoughts in Leafy is here, Hero Cynical, and Drama Alert? I think they are really cool and funny. In fact, they influenced me. 3. Favorite cartoon in M. Shrek. 4. Thoughts on SJWs and feminism? 
They are pretty weak, because they think that anything that is male-related is oppressing them just for existing, and they do the exact same shit when it comes to that. 5. Who is more cringy? 0. 3. Good or Matthew Davis? I think both, to be honest. Damn it, why do I pick both? 6. Thoughts on Cablam Bandicoot 64? I do like his content, but I think he needs improvement. 7. Which commentators do you ship? I ship me with doodle tones, as if I am not creepy enough. 8. Thoughts on Vine memes? They are pretty weak. I mean, anyone can create a Vine in just a few seconds and get fame from it. I am still calculating how that works. 9. 9 9 9 9. Yes 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 yes. 10. Where's fandom besides the GoAnimate community? Probably I would pick the SJW crowd. 11. Hottest animated characters? There is more to me than just being attracted towards characters. But since you asked, I would pick Belma and Daphne from Scooby-Doo, Betty Boop, Daria, and Jessica the Rabbit, and pretty much many more, but it's nothing I would write home about. 12. Thoughts on Mario Tent Plumber? I wouldn't take him seriously, because I enjoy him as a character. 13. Is Friday the 14th your favorite day? Yes, indeed. In fact, I go out every day with my black cat, breaking mirrors, and going under ladders. 14. Do you like dank mems? Indeed. 15. Who do you want for president? Bernie Sanders, obviously. Jesus with Bazooka 79 asked, 1. What are your thoughts on my videos? They are pretty decent. 2. Were you previously Lance 1000? No, no I wasn't. 3. Ever bought and played the new Doom game? Didn't buy it yet. 4. How would you react if someone made a grounded video on you? I would just there and let him, I wouldn't care. 5. Would you fuck the bitches from Overwatch? Probably, if they let it me. I don't want to be accused for rape. I'll do master, also known as Woody asked, 1. What do you think of my fursona? If there's something wrong with it, let me know, I think you are pretty talented with your artwork. 2. What other randers you don't like, besides HMF999? Which paint TW, I like him, but not his rants. I would have to pick Gangster Fury Polymer and Upper Crust. Yeah, not only is he a terrible commentator, he is also a terrible rander. Alexander asked, are you an Eddie Brunny? A little bit, because some of the Brunnies can be drippy basement dwelling manchildren, like Gangster Fury Polymer and Upper Crust. Anthony Lowe has asked, 1. And you thoughts in me? I don't know who Anu is, but I think you might be a decent person, and that Anu person might think the same. 2. Do you like YouTube poops? Pretty much. 3. Is Nero's Q a PPG egg? I think he is, but I don't think he likes the original. Bubs be the true and innest veganist. 1. Have you seen Serial Experiments Lane? Haven't seen it, and I've never heard of it up until now. 2. What do you think of Freely the Banana Girl? Never heard of her up until now. 3. Have you made sure to go vegan? I eat a balanced meal, to be honest. 4. Go animate 2. No way, I don't want another go animated movie. The first one was a cinematic train wreck, and I refuse to accept it getting a sequel. 5. How old are you, if I might ask? I am 16. GameStunes Plus asked, what was the hardest commentary you had to make? I would pick Nero's Q, because it felt like I am moving a fucking boulder all the way down from the mountain without dropping it. Mike the Koopa Warrior asked, 1. What is your favorite video game? I don't know, probably some casual games. 2. What is the Go Animator that you truly hate the most? Well, that's a tough one, because there are a lot of Go Animate people I can't stand, but if I had to choose, it would be Trent Morrison. He's literally go animate meets TV and art with cringeworthy fan arts. He is so bad that it make Caleb the Goat Egg look like a friendly person in comparison. 3. What do you think of Goat Eggs putting gangster insert character here as their usernames? It's pretty stupid, because they are not really gangsters. 4. Who is worse, Matthew Davis, Brendan Barney, Humberto Lorma or fucking Trent Morrison? I would have to pick Trent, obviously. 5. What do you think of Brunies? Some of them are pretty cringeworthy, but that's not enough for them to judge the entire fan base. 6. What do you like to drink? Bleach, obviously. And no, I don't join anyone in a bleach drinking competition, unless, if they ask politely. 7. Will you do a commentary in Logan Air 17? Yes, I would, but I would commentate on his Alvin Hung rant, but it's not really something to write home about, since Alvin Hung rants are pretty much the same, where Alvin turns evil and starts deleting shit, one by one. 8. More questions, Logan Air 17's rage, thought that is pretty accurate. 9. Where is the rant train? It'll be here any minute, when the conductor's arguments are valid, when he gets his grammar straight. Future Blood asked, 1. What music do you listen to? It's probably chip to music from the late 80s and 90s. 2. What is your opinion, Super Planet Dolan? It's a pretty interesting channel. 3. Who is the most cringeworthy person on YouTube? I don't know, probably any radical Christian who lives by the Bible, page by page, probably not needing to shave. The YouTube Dude 101 asked, 1. What the fuck have you done by shipping with me a Doodle Tones? I don't know, I mean, someone had to ship Doodle Tones with at least somebody close. 2. Do you realize what you've just done? I searched up Food Fight and put it on an MP4, so what do you want? 3. Favorite color. Rainbow, because you are gay. 4. Why do you do this to me? I shipped Doodle Tones with underage person like yourself, so get over it, please. The Terrific Ice Ups asked, do black borders matter? No they don't. Mickey in the Mouse asked, does Matthew Davis jerk off to South Park? Pretty much when there are sex scenes in it. Daredevil Dan, or Iggy had asked, Food Fight's oh my fucking god, more like she fuck. Mems. Mr. Monkey asked, do you wish Matthew Davis was terminated? Even though I don't like Matthew Davis, no, I don't want him to be terminated. Matthew Davis can be on YouTube for as long as he wants, even though I have a lot of things to say about him. 
Bracket Neutron 37 to ask, 1. What are magical potatoes? They are potatoes that are magical. 2. Will you ever do that Alexander K. Ford commentary? Don't worry dude, it's coming. 3. Why is YouTube dude 101 doing a q and at the same time? Because he's been spying on me. Hungry Box asked, What are your favorite 2010s cartoons? Heavy Metal Fan 1999 and Mr. Awesome I ate them all, except regular show. I think it would be Johnny Test and Gravity Falls. Oh. What are your least favorite 2010s cartoons? Probably Equestria Girls. Kashmir Karlowski asked, What do you hate the most about the IGUA? It's probably how they build the annoying nutshack hate base around them. Thanks a lot Ryan O. Oh, thanks a lot Mr. Inner. Thanks a lot Pan Pizza. I mean, seriously, they never shut up about it. Zero Twilight Sparkle asked, What are your favorite cartoons? Probably Uncle Grandpa, SpongeBob, and the Problem Solvers. Oh. Heaven 711 asked, What fanbase do you find to be the most cringy? Probably the SJW crowd. Hungry Box asked, Do you like me? You are most likely a decent person. He also asked, Do you think Heavy Metal Fan 1999 review modern shows besides regular show? Of course he does, after all, what's a 90s egg without raising regular show, which is one of my favorite cartoons. And then he asked, What's your opinion on the Angry Birds movie and the Ratchet and Clank movie? I haven't seen them yet. He also wants to know, What's your opinion on Ryan Go Productions, Mr. Awesome Guy, Snake and JJ Full Justin Bieber Full? I am sort of friend mixed with acquaintances with Ryan Go, because I think he needs improvement. I don't care for Mr. Awesome Guy, and I think I am acquaintances with DJ Snake Fanny and Justin Bieber Hater. So, here, everybody, that's all the time we have for the Q&A. Bye bye for now.